So one of the things that people are always wondering about is automation and robotics and so on in warehousing. If you're not wondering about it, you should be in supply chain. So Mel Walker has recently been over to a Promat big show in the US. And Mel, you've put together a whole bunch of videos for us to show us what's happening. What yeah. kind of things are we going to see? Yes, I have, Rob, and I'm glad you asked because uh, I went to Promat and I saw um, autonomous mm. robots. Yeah. I saw um, task to person yeah. picking. Yeah. I've seen lots of goods to person systems. Great. I've seen cross belt sorters and goodness knows what. So I've, there's a heap of them. And I've shot all these little videos and we're going to put some of those coming right up and it might be you know, more than one video you've got to watch at. So coming right up. Alan Walker here from Logistics Bureau. We're just having a look at an auto store system. Auto store is a robotic system that uh, picks and moves totes. Um, you can see here the totes are stacked on top of each other and these robots move around on top of the, the store and place and pick the totes as required. Then they move them over to a goods to person picking station which is shown just here. This system uh, has great space utilisation and is very scalable and has been a great success. It is so successful that, uh, that at the moment about four or five companies uh, market Auto Store. Um, it really is a great system and uh, is getting a lot of uh, take up uh, in Australia, um, United States and Europe as well. So this is, it's our shoe sorter that we design and build in house. Um, you see the, those grey little uh, plastic pieces, they're called shoes. Right. What we do is, uh, when we want to divert a box, like you see here, the shoes actually push the box off onto the divert lane. The great thing about the shoe sorter is it's very uh, diverse. Um, you can have a wide range of box. You just add more shoes on to divert it if you need it, and take less shoes away for, for smaller boxes. What sort of uh, sortation? You can do high speed yeah. sortation. Yeah, what, it's like how many sorts? Or? Um, off the top of my yeah. head, 400 to yeah. 600, Wow. Maybe. Um, per hour? Yeah. Per hour. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would want to double check that yeah. for sure, but okay. that's about right. Yeah. And over in this tunnel, you got a robot putting in paperwork, is that, that is right? That is our document right. inserter, yes sir, yes sir. Uh, we're scanned usually an LPN or a label on here, know what the carton is, and then you can see the robot there. We send that to our uh, warehouse management, warehouse control system. It'll print the appropriate uh, manifest or whatever insert you want to put in the box, and the robotic arm grabs it from the printer and slips it into the, into the cart. And I have my friend Chris here from Locust. Say hi, Chris. Hello. Yeah. So, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about what this particular robot does sure. and how it works? Thank Absolutely. you. So, with Locust, we're really bringing the task to the person instead of the goods. Uh, goods. Yeah, we have an induction station over there where they load up empty totes and the robots receive their directions from the warehouse management system. Then the robots go to the various places along the mission, mission uh, list. And as it comes here, it comes right to the item location, right in the bin where the items are stored. Shows me what it's looking for, what it's asking for. I can tap this and see a close-up picture of this. If I say, yep, okay, I want to scan the item. All right? So now if I scan the wrong item, which I want to do, right? Confirm quantity three. Right? Yes. And now I need two more of the specimens. It's a big order here. Okay, it's keeping right, you busy, quite, obviously. Yeah, yeah quite, quite is, right? Some front warning, too. That's going in eight, down there. And now it's going away. That's going to packing station now because it's finished all of its orders. And it's telling me that I need to go next to aisles two or aisles three because that's where the next robot is waiting. Okay, so the system then tells you where you've got to go and there's another robot waiting there for you to... Exactly. 
So I never have to question, I never have to walk the halls, I know exactly where I need to go next. So that's fantastic. So what sort of picking rates can you get out of that robot? So generally, if you compare it to manual picking rates with a pull cart on an RF gun, we get 2 to 3x whatever those rates are. Yeah, you need a system, but it's um, it starts at $950 per robot per month. It's a subscription service, so you, it's one, one price fits all. Okay, $950 US per yes, month. US per and month. I can add on as many robots as I need for that operation. Yep, and in fact, we have a short-term subscription option as well for your peak. So you can have 15 robots every day of the year, and then during the holiday crunch, you can have another 15 just to help you get through that. Uh, I'm just uh, looking at a machine called the Shore Sort, which is a machine that sorts uh, small products into bins. Uh, fantastic piece of technology. And I've got Byron from OPEX. Say hello, Byron. Hello, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Byron, now this is a fantastic machine. Can you tell me what it does? So it's a single item sorter for sorting packages that have been batch picked or wave picked that are going to be sorted for final output for uh, order fulfillment. Typically this will be used for e-commerce, e order fulfillment uh, is probably the biggest user. Again, what happens is, is you have warehouse people that will do batch picking or wave picking. They'll bring those items to the induction station. Those items will be inducted on a single item sort. Our sorter talks to the WMS background uh, back end system. It will present that item to the WMS, get instructions from the WMS of what location it's going to. It will fulfill that order, then a sweeper will complete that order for order fulfillment. Okay. And can we come around and just see the, the output of this? Yeah. So the, the product is, uh, is dispatched into these bins. Correct. So as the items are dropped on the induction station, the iBots will then take those items to a bin location identified by the WMS. When one of those bin locations has its all of its items put there, it'll get an indicator light indicating that it's an order complete. Right. Then another person will come, what we call a sweeper, will come by, empty that bin into the shipping container, and then clear it for the next order. So this sorter, our maximum output uh, throughput rate is 2,400 items per hour. Very good. Yeah. So that would be for a full length system, which is about twice the length of the one you're looking at. Okay. Um, and that's with one, one person dropping at a continuous rate. So you get output of about 2,400 items per hour. And how many bins or order totes can you actually hold in the system? So we have different size bins. We have 4-inch bins, 7-inch bins, and 12-inch bins. A full-length system with all 4-inch bins, you can have up to 530 locations. 